What are some of the red flags that I am not seeing in the current relationship that I am in? Well, the first red flag is you actually put them on a pedestal that they do not need to be on. The second red flag that you're probably missing is they find this beautiful way to just want your attention all the time at the cost of you doing anything else for yourself. At first it feels really sweet and like they love you and they care for you, but you're not realizing you're slowly getting suffocated. The other thing is they want to spend all their time with you. So they're slowly alienating you from any of the friends that you do have. Some of the family friends or family that you spend a lot of time with, they're finding ways that they get so needy or they get ill and they just need you to be with them every single moment. Again, at first that seems like, wow, this person wants all of my attention as opposed to all the relationships when I couldn't get the person to just want to be with me all the time. Another red flag is little anger moments they will flare up with anger in a way that in the beginning of the relationship, the marketing side, it never ever happened. But now the anger comes out in little bits and it's almost like they're testing you in ways to see, can I take this a little further? Can I not? Am I scaring you enough to want to lower your voice and walk around eggshells with me? Another massive red flag is at some point you realize it's the two of you in an island and you've lost connection to all your friends, all your family. You're considering and they're pushing you to actually leave your job because they will financially look after you and take care of you. This is a really big one because the minute you lose your financial ability, you can you can get stuck in someone in a financially abusive relationship where at first it seems like they're doing everything for me. They've given me a car, they're paying my rent, they give me money to spend. I mean, they're literally telling me why I shouldn't work. But then the minute I give my job, sudden, give up my job suddenly, they, the car is now needs to be shared and they're the ones using it all the time. There's no extra income because don't you know how hard they have to work? And now you're sitting at home all alone, feeling brain dead, getting depressed. That's another huge one. Another red flag is they consistently stonewall you. When something is going wrong and you both have a fight, they have the ability to just walk away, stonewall and not care about how you feel and not solve it. Another one, every time the two of you seem to get into a bit of an argument, they head over to the bar and that would be on a Friday, they come back home on a Sunday and you both are still dating. But when they come home on a Sunday, they love bomb you so much that you feel the need to forgive their actions for the last two days. So be really careful of somebody that has red flags. First of all, your gut will tell you something not, something's wrong, something's not right. If I discuss this with some of my friends or family, they would tell me, be careful. So use your instincts. Everybody always has them. We just consistently want to turn red into green in the beginning, but be aware. Notice, do they take your boundaries away? Are they pushing you to grow? They, do they want you to be more of an amazing person? Or somehow are they slowly sucking the life out of you and they convince you to think you will only have life if you stick to them. They are your lifeline and you're nothing without them.